that every website should have is a robots.txt file. A robots.txt file is something that search engines look at before they decide to crawl your website. And it gives them information on what to crawl, what not to crawl, and you can tell Google and other search engines exactly that through the robots.txt file. So it's a pretty simple file and this is one from one of my websites and it doesn't this one doesn't really tell much but it does tell Google some specific things about what not to index and what to index so getting into a little bit of examples here there's an official website robots.txt.org that gives a little bit of information regarding robots.txt files so this is an example of a, a very generic robots.txt file, but I'm going to walk you through what this means exactly. If you're if you're not a technical person, don't worry. Uh, this is pretty. It, it's not too difficult to go through. So user agent is basically the the robot. So that could be a Google robot, a Bing robot, a, a Yahoo robot, whatever the robot is. This is discussing what what robot this is in regards to. Now this asterisk here is a catch-all. So it basically means any robot. So any user agent, any robot, and uh, a star. So if I just wanted to have something that's just related to Google, and let me see if I can, okay. okay. So if I just wanted Google, I could do user agent Google, and then supply some instructions or I could do Bing, or like I said, there's several different robots you can use, but for this one, this applies to all robots. Okay, so now I put in disallow, so I'm telling search all search engines don't index, and then this right here basically means don't index any of my pages. So if your website you're wanting to get traffic to your website and you have this right here as your robots.txt file, then search engines aren't going to pick up any of your pages and you're not gonna have any chance of uh, getting search traffic. So the opposite of that is if you just remove this character right here and you said user agent disallow and then it was a, a semicolon and then nothing, that would basically mean index all of my website. That's about as generic as it gets as far as a robots.txt file. And this is the example here. So for a lot of websites, this is a perfectly acceptable robots.txt file. If you want every page on your website indexed in search engines, then this is what you would have. And like I said, complete opposite. If you wanted to block everything, then you would put this here. Now, you may be wondering why the heck would I want search engines to block my website or not index my website? Well, if you were, ju just one example, if you were building a development site so you weren't ready to post your site live yet and you didn't want it indexed, then you would want to block search engines from it. So there's a few other examples here but getting into a little bit more of the technical details, something you can do that's a little bit more advanced is making sure that search engines allow certain files. So CSS files are how search engines know the styling of your website. JavaScript files, if, if you have any JavaScript on your website, which is a computer language. Most websites should have this right here allow.js and allow.css. That's a little bit advanced, but a majority of websites should have Google indexing this and it will help maximize the amount of search traffic you get. So if you have a WordPress website, most likely a robots.txt file is already set up. I didn't create this robots.txt file. This is something that WordPress automatically did for me. But let's walk through this again. User agent, asterisk, which basically means all robots, disallow WP admin. Now the reason it's doing this is because this is my login page. So I don't want anyone doing a, a Google search and going to my login page. There, there's no reason for anyone to 
to go there. That's just for me to log into my website and make updates. So I don't want that index and search. Now this is an example here of allow uh, a specific item, so an Ajax, which is another computer language, so it's allowing this. And again, I didn't write this, this is something WordPress did automatically for me, but the bottom line, I just wanted to introduce you to robots.txt files. Every website, again, should have a robots.txt file because that's the first thing search engines do when they're, well, one of the first things they do when they check out your website, they go to your robots.txt file to see what you want indexed and what you don't want indexed. And it's important that you tell search engines exactly that. So if you have a, a membership site or something like that that you don't want indexed, you want to make sure that gets excluded from search results. If you have a pretty generic information website, then you might want to have something as simple as this that just tells search engines, crawl everything, you have complete access. So have a robots.txt file on your website. I hope this has been a, a pretty good overview of it. And it's just one of many ways you can tell search engines what your website is about, what you want indexed, and get the most search traffic possible.